Okay, this week's video is all about lacking in enthusiasm and when you just don't get to your head in the game and how it affects your photography. So have a quick look at my trip from last week when I headed out into a beautiful location and failed to do it justice. Well, I'm out with Robin today. We're shooting the heather, but because it's very, very windy, I've gone super lightweight with the digital camera because I ain't carrying a tripod. So absolutely nothing wrong with this location. This is the Peak District and it is August and the heather is absolutely at its best. It's fantastic. I had no reason not to be enthusiastic, but I just didn't feel it on the day. Now, here's my excuses. There are a couple of excuses, tiredness and people. Having said that, I did make the odd good image. I quite like this one. It's uh, reasonably well composed, nice colors. Um, yeah, nothing to complain about, but I think it was more luck than judgment that got me that one. I took quite a few frames there and managed to come back with that one. Anyway, getting back to the point of this, the weather was so windy. My eyes were streaming. I was struggling to see through the little viewfinder of the Micro Four Thirds camera. Again, I got a reasonable composition here in the vertical format using a, a widish lens. But is it anything special compared to the video footage? I don't think it is particularly. It's pleasant enough. Moving on, we went to a location called the Salt Cellar. Now, this is normally very inspirational. I've got some nice shots from here about two years ago in black and white. But as you can see, I'm wandering around while Robin is cracking on with a good work ethic and getting the job done. I tended to move around and mooch a lot. I was trying all different angles, got down low in the heather here. <laughs> yeah, got a bit of a pool of water in the foreground got in close, messing about with various different lens, focal lengths. But in the end, I managed to take possibly the worst shot I've taken of the location ever. It is completely lacking in composition, in drama, in light. It is awful. And I'm proud to say that. But look at the color of the heather. The color is, again, fantastic. And the skies, I mean, there's decent skies up there. There's not a massive amount of color, but Ah, look at that foreground as well with the, the, the lichen marks on the rocks. I could have used those in my shot. I had a super wide with me. But no, I continued to procrastinate and wander around and generally not know where to point the camera. Despite the fact that I'd taken a handheld camera and I could be as mobile as I liked, I could move around flexibly. I had almost infinite depth of field with Micro Four Thirds, so there's no excuse there. I do not need a tripod. Mm, but instead I wandered off and uh, tried to find inspiration somewhere else and didn't and ended up wandering back again and yeah, I took this one. Now this is quite pleasant actually. I do like the heather arrangement in this with the rock and the sky is very nice. So uh, I, yeah, I think I might have got lucky there in taking that one, but I do like that one. That's possibly the best one of the day for me. <sighs> Marvellous scenery though. I mean, you must be looking at this thinking, what were you thinking? There's so many opportunities there. The colours are fantastic. Heather only comes out once a year. It's so windy though, I had to sit down. And I did mention earlier I had another problem and that was people. There were people everywhere. Now, people have got every right to be out in the countryside just as much as I have. But what the video doesn't convey is just how many people were there. So after a long cafe break and about four coffees, we've set out again in the evening. Now look at the light, it's warmed up tremendously. And I should be able to do something really good with this now. This is this is more me. But the wind was getting to me again. And there were herds of people, herds of people milling around. So I sat down. I took in the scenery. I just enjoyed being in the location, to be honest, and also getting out the wind. It had sapped my energy. It had sort of just taken my enthusiasm for photography away. So uh, I just chatted to the sheep instead. And uh, they didn't find me very interesting either. I think they found me a bit annoying after a while. So... I moved on and uh, I copied Robin basically because he was more enthusiastic and getting better shots. So uh, yeah, when in doubt, uh, cheat. But the heather again, I mean, it's gone now. <laughs> it was on the turn just as we were there and I've missed it. And uh, I just stood there staring around into space. And half the time I didn't get a camera out and I had ample equipment with me to make the most of this situation. So for the end of the day and sunset, we moved to another beautiful set of rocks. I mean, look at that, it's fantastic on the GoPro. And I got a reasonable representation. It's a, it's a bit digital for me, though, isn't it? It's not it's not really me, to be honest. Not totally my style. Uh, a bit saturated. Could do better. So, yeah, I walked over to Robin, saw what he was shooting and decided to just copy him, which isn't probably the best way to go about your photography. And that was the end of the day.
So hopefully, as you can see there, it was more important for me to get my attitude right on this photography shoot than anything to do with the location or equipment. The equipment was fine. I worked handheld all day, had no problems with shutter speed, depth of field. And again, the location, the heather, the colour, absolutely magnificent. There is nothing to complain about. But the problem is I wasn't feeling it. Now, I was put off by, as I said in the video, the weather, the tiredness, the, the people, and that messed with me. I didn't, I couldn't isolate myself from that, those, those elements and they, they really dragged me down. And as the day went on, I became less and less enthusiastic as the light got better and better. So I don't know really how to counteract that. I mean, four coffees definitely helped and it gave me a bit more get up and go. But again, I don't know. Maybe it was shooting handheld. Maybe it was that lack of uh, concentration, the, the necessary setup process of using a bigger camera. Maybe it's just one of those things. I mean, I was feeling rather tired when I set out in the day and uh, physical tiredness will affect your enthusiasm, as we all know. So I have got to make a real effort in future to get my head back in the game. Now, I've got a video coming up in a, a couple of weeks or so about a photographer's block and how it can affect you and also some of the ways I use to break out of it. So uh, note to self, uh, must listen to what I preach. And next time, next August, when the heather's out again, go and do it justice. So thank you for watching. And I hope uh, you don't suffer from the same malaise I get myself into. And I'll see you again soon, hopefully with much more enthusiasm. Thanks for watching.